Hello and good morning. Well, not, I, I don't know how to start a vlog without saying good morning. It is in fact not the morning. It's about 11.30. Grace and I just got back home from meeting her play group at the park. I'm sure you can hear all of her little sounds in the background. She's playing in the living room right here. And uh, I'm just gonna throw some lunch together for her. Yeah, would you like some lunch? I'm thinking a uh, quesadilla and maybe just saute some mushrooms to put in that and some sort of fruit or vegetable on the side. I'm not really sure. I need to go to the grocery store. So just gonna kind of scrounge with what we have. All right, no mushrooms, but we do have a zucchini. <gasps> yeah, so I'm gonna use that. Yeah, that's your lamb. Mwah, I'm giving the lamb a kiss. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> Let's see if we have a can of perfect black beans. We're gonna use the black beans. You wanna hold it for some protein. Would you like a black bean and zucchini quesadilla? Oh, heck yeah. All right. All right, we'll see you in a bit. It'll be ready in like 10 minutes. We're gonna make one for Dada too. Yeah, for Dada. All right, we got the cheese. Loading up some of our black beans. Sauteed zucchini. Some more cheese. Looking good, looking good. All right, we are ready. We've got Grace's quesadilla. Plated that up with some extra black beans and some quartered cherry tomatoes. And then for Steven and I, I made just a little spicy sour cream dipping sauce. Literally just tapatio and sour cream mixed together. And do you recognize the bowl I use? This is the this is the one I made in pottery class. I, I love getting to use this. I take any opportunity I can. Would you like to eat? Eat, yes, there you go. And no, I still have not taken down the photos from Grace's birthday. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep them up, but I just, I can't, I can't bring myself to take it down yet. It's too cute. <laughs> All right, Grace is down for her nap. I am now transitioning into work mode. Tuesdays are when I take care of Grace for the first half of the day and then work the second half of the day. So I've got some computer tasks to go through. I need to film the clip for the merch launch vlog, which you have already seen now. So uh, if you wanna shop my new merch collection, link in the description. And then in about an hour at 1.30, we are filming a main channel video. I'm doing a main channel video all about my hunt for for the perfect pair of denim shorts for summer. So we have a bunch of pairs I'm gonna try on in the studio. That is what we're filming today. And then over the next three days, I'm gonna be testing my three favorite pairs from the try on actually out and about in my daily life to see how they actually hold up and feel and fit with a full day of wear. So that is the plan, let's get to it. But actually I need to <laughs> clean my glasses first. The fact that I was even wearing them when they're like this dirty, I think it, is that sour cream? That's embarrassing. <laughs> oh my gosh, so many freaking shorts. <laughs> I have nine pairs here that are all very similar, ranging from the cheapest are these ones here. These were Walmart, $15 to, where's the Good American? Right here, Good American, $130. And then the rest of them are all between that range. We just filmed the unboxing part and kind of like talking through each pair and why I picked them. And now we're switching up the set and the equipment for the try on portion. I am very interested to see which pair actually ends up being my favorite. Because I feel like with denim shorts, usually like at the beginning of the summer or spring, I just go to a store, try on a couple pairs, pick the best out of that bunch, which isn't always like a, a wide assortment to choose from, especially in my size. So having all of these pairs to choose from, I feel like it, it's gonna allow me to be really particular about what I actually want in denim shorts. Forgive my sweatiness, um, I just finished trying on nine pairs of denim shorts and we are wrapped on filming. It is 4.30. So I'm gonna dump this footage onto my computer real quick, set it off to my editor and then run downstairs to uh, see Grace, hang out with her. I miss her so much. Huh? Yeah, you got the ball. Oh. Yay! <laughs> That's when can you reach that? I didn't know you could reach that. She couldn't. Whoa! <laughs> you couldn't do that a week ago. Do it again. Do it again! You can do it all by yourself! <laughs> Are you so proud of yourself? Yeah. Kenzie gave us this water table for Grace's birthday and it has just been hours of fun out here. Every single day. Every day. <gasps> Are you gonna do it again? Where'd it go? Whoa! <gasps> oh, 
ready? One, two, three. Boing! Oh. Uh-oh, I missed. Can you put another one in for Mama? Thank you. Ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> I made it! Yay! She must have gotten like half an inch taller out of nowhere. I know. I We literally got this, what, a week and a half ago from Kenzie? She couldn't reach up here. Are you growing? Whoa! <laughs> All right, what you doing, Steven? I am getting some strawberries. Mmm, would you like one? <laughs> Here, Grace, try this one first. Ready? <laughs> Dad is going to take the top off for you. Yummy! And one for Mama. Thank you. Also, as of literally like two days ago, the tomato plants are starting to flower. Got some there, some here, here. Really every plant has at least like five. So hopefully pretty soon we will have tons of tomatoes to pick and eat every day. All right, time to get started on dinner. We have our Green Chef box and Green Chef is the sponsor of today's vlog. So last night I made this creamy tomato penne with Parmesan zucchini. It was delicious. So I've got two more recipes to choose from tonight. I think I'm gonna go with the black bean and corn burrito bowls. That just sounds super good and it's only a 25 minute cook time. So it'll be nice and quick. I can get back out there playing with Grace and Steven. So a little about Green Chef. They are a CCOF certified organic company with options for every lifestyle. Keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, Mediterranean, gluten-free. And Green Chef gives you the flexibility to switch between between options whenever you want. So like we usually go kind of back and forth between the vegan and the vegetarian and they just make it so dang easy to cook. <laughs> like the ingredients are pre-measured, perfectly portioned, and a lot of the prep work is already done for you. Not to mention all the time it saves me on top of that with grocery shopping and meal planning. So here's a look at our delicious finished meal tonight. So check out Green Chef. There is a link in the description and make sure you use our code IRL130 because that is gonna get you $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. Go to greenchef.com for more details. Thank you, Green Chef. I don't wanna say who, but um, someone liked it. <laughs> and actually, spoiler alert, we all liked it. <laughs> that was a very good dinner. Thank you, Sierra. And thank you, Green Chef. Yeah, thank you, Green Chef. Alrighty, it is now 6.45 p.m. A little loud in here, uh, cause Steven's upstairs giving Grace a bath. He just started running the water and the pipes come like right through here. So sorry about the noise, but figured I'd take this time to come in here, wash my face, do some skincare, get uh, all unready for the night. And then after Grace's bath, I'm gonna give her her bottle, which is actually gonna be her last bottle of formula ever. So wild. It's weird because giving Grace bottles has been just such a constant in Grace's routine every single day. I was gonna say every day since she's been born, but really it, it's been like every day for the past six months because I stopped breastfeeding right after she turned six months. But it feels like this this is kind of the the symbolic shift from her being a, a little baby who, you know, we cradle in our arms and give her a bottle to a, a, a toddler who can just eat solid food. And, and Grace has always really, really loved solids, table foods, and never really liked taking bottles. But we've been, we've been tapering off Grace's bottles since a couple days before her first birthday. So we were at four bottles a day, then we went down to three for a couple days, then two. And then tomorrow's gonna be our first day just doing no bottles. And so far it hasn't seemed to affect her at all. It's been a, a really smooth transition for her. And as convenient as it's going to be to no longer have to think about bottles, bringing the bottle warmer. That was the other thing because Grace was so always so particular about the temperature of her milk that we would bring this little portable bottle warmer everywhere. And while I'm definitely excited to leave that aspect in the past, there's like a little piece of me that is sad. It's like a sweet sadness. It's like, oh my gosh, my baby's growing up. We also stopped with pacifiers right before Grace's first birthday. Uh, and honestly, I was more nervous about stopping the pacifier than the bottles. Cause like I said, she never really cared about the bottles, but she definitely liked her pacifier. But that's been a pretty easy transition for her too. It was the, the first night that we didn't offer it to her before bed. Like she just looked like a little confused when we put her down in the crib. Like something's missing here. There, there's something else you guys usually 
really give me. But then she just turned over and went to sleep and that was that. I hear the tub draining, so I think they're wrapping up with bath time. Where is my lip balm? I, oh, there it is. I'm just gonna finish up in here and then go wait for them in the nursery. You ready to go to bed? Yeah. yeah. You wanna go to bed? I love you so much. there feeding grace rocking her and what do i see staring at me through the little gap in the curtain i took a video of it on my iphone then i saw you we like hyped up we hyped up how special it was gonna be you wanted to be part of it how could i not <laughs> that was so cute so the crazy thing i was thinking about is that this is like i don't know not only were bottles a big part of her life yeah but they were a big thing of our life right we were preparing yeah. cleaning the know, dishes. The dishes. When we would go out, like that's always a big constant. That was like the worst part about switching to formula. Once I got past, like, you know, there was some emotional weight to that and stopping breastfeeding was just the amount of dishes. But no, you know what was the worst dishes? When I was pumping and we were bottle feeding, that was like so many dishes. Yeah. Just the bottles weren't that bad. Mm, they suck, <laughs> but they weren't that bad. Not that bad. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, I actually have like three hours of work to do tonight. Yep. Tomorrow is the big merch launch, so Ooh. I need to finish editing that vlog and work on captions and photo editing and all that stuff. Yeah. You said you have some work to do too, right? I have a big deadline tomorrow, so I will be working late as well. We'll get through tonight and then hopefully the rest of the week's more fun. Yeah, we will catch up with you guys tomorrow. <gasps> tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. It's about noon right now. Got some work done this morning. The merch launch happened, which went so freaking well. Like I, I had high hopes because I, I love these products. I am so proud of them. But the, the support and the love was just, it really, really blew me away. So thank you guys so, so much. I'm wearing the purple crop today, uh, along with one of the pairs of shorts from the video we started yesterday. Um, but anyways, out and about now, uh, I needed to run over to the tailor to get my dress altered for my brother's wedding. This is my bridesmaid's dress. And uh, it's actually been sitting in my closet for almost three years now. I ordered this in 2019. Their wedding was supposed to be in June 2020, but they postponed it because of the pandemic. Um, but I already had the dress. So now I just need to get it altered. The main thing is I just, I need a lot more room in the chest. It fit fine three years ago when I bought it. But pregnancy, breastfeeding, weight gain just really changed my chest situation. So hoping they can fix that because uh, the wedding's in two weeks. Definitely should have done this sooner, but it's fine. We're here now. So let's go. All right, back home now. They were able to alter the dress and it's going to be done in time. Thank goodness. Um, but now I'm back home working on some sponsored Instagram stuff, some stuff for Fabletics and my monthly ambassadorship with them. And then a, a a very unique sponsorship, probably one of the coolest and strangest things that has ever happened to me because of YouTube. So YouTube made these limited edition creator trading card packs. And guess who is one of the creators you can get? It's me, I have a freaking trading card and it's holographic. So cool and it's got all these little fun facts on the back. This is just absolutely wild to me. It's just so cool. I. Uh, who would have thought I, there would be a Sierra Schultz trading card? All right, just finished filming some sponsored stuff for Fabletics, and I, I just wanted to show you guys the set because I love it and I feel so cute. Little white bike shorts, white twist front bra, and this super funky, unique windbreaker. I love this pattern, and it's, it's just so different than anything else I have in my closet. So we're going right now to take an Instagram photo in this, and then we're hitting up the beach. Got some filming to do, some pictures to take, and Grace and my mom are gonna come too, so. Also just gonna hang out and chill and uh, have a nice beachy afternoon.
All right, did we get it? Oh, we got it. We got it, we got it, and we got extra. <laughs> Well, it is the next day. I forgot to end the vlog last night. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you next time. Bye.